Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm not really doing any cooking. Well, I'm going to cook some potatoes, uh, but only so I can demonstrate the marvels of sous vide cookery. <laughs> So if you watch any cookery program these days, you'll more than likely see people messing about with water baths and vacuum sealers and stuff like that. Sous vide is the technique of slowly cooking things like fish, meat, vegetables, eggs in a vacuum. Sous vide actually comes from the French sous meaning under, vide meaning void or vacuum. What you do is you, you put your food into the bag with any seasonings you need, you extract the air, and then you stick it in a water bath with a carefully controlled temperature which is a lot lower than you would normally cook stuff in. And the benefit of doing this is with meat certainly it's impossible, it's almost impossible to overcook it because you set the temperature of the water at the finished internal temperature that you want for the meat. So once, once it's hit that temperature it can't get any higher, it can't cook any further. And that's marvellous because it means that you can cook things in advance and then just quickly finish them off when you're ready for them. Uh, so you can get perfect steaks, you can get the juiciest chicken breasts you've ever had uh, and it's just amazing. The other thing it's good for is, is vegetables like carrots, parsnips, potatoes, solid vegetables. So you don't actually boil the vegetables, uh, you, you keep all the nutrients in you might think cooking meat at these low temperatures, which are a lot lower than recommended by government uh, medical agencies, uh, you might think that is a bit dangerous. It's not. The government agencies like to cover their backsides by specifying temperatures that are way over the top, but they will reduce you know, a population of millions of E. coli or whatever to one, and that's considered safe. But what it does mean with those temperatures is your meat and poultry is always overcooked. But with sous vide, once the food has reached its final temperature, you hold it at that temperature for a number of minutes or hours, and that eventually also kills the pathogens. So no need to worry, um, and wow, brilliant, amazing food. And I've wanted to play with sous vide ever since I first heard about it, it sounds amazing. But the kit, is expensive and bulky and really you know you don't need another machine the size of a small photocopier in your kitchen do you <laughs> certainly not in my spanish kitchen which was like this big anyway in the last few years some companies have realized that you don't have to have this big steel box full of water you've already got a kitchen full of vessels that contain water so you take that out of the equation and what you're left with is something like this. This is an Anova precision cooker and it belongs to the class of beasts known as immersion circulators. So basically you clamp that to the side of the pot with water and there's a, an impeller here at the bottom that continuously circulates the water so you get an even temperature all the way through. There's a heating element in here and there's some electronic gubbins in here. Uh, and it's really, really cool. So I'm going to show you how it works and I'm going to use some potatoes to demonstrate. So to start the cooking, I've got some hot water in there. That's just tap water. Uh, you don't need it boiling. Well, you absolutely don't want it boiling. What we do is fit the chunky clamp onto the pan and then we pop the ANOVA in and clamp that as well. And we just use this scroll wheel to set the temperature that we want, which is, uh, well, it's about, it's 84 degrees for potatoes and most vegetables, which is a lot hotter than you use for meat. Press the go button and it starts chugging away, circulating and heating the water. So while the water's heating up, we can prepare the food. I've got uh, a few potatoes which I've just scrubbed clean and chopped into big chunks. I haven't done potatoes before with this, but what, one thing that usually happens when, when I'm trying to boil potatoes with the skin on is the skin comes off and the, you know some of them are hard, some of them are overcooked, and it's pretty much a disaster. 
The other thing is the container for the food. I don't have a vacuum sealer and I don't plan to get one, but you can do it perfectly well with good old fashioned Ziploc bags. Okay, so I'm just gonna put some sea salt in there and a knob of butter. And we seal the bag, but leave a couple of inches at the end for the air to escape. Now, this being the 21st century, there's an app. <laughs> it's available for Android and iOS, and it's got a limited selection of recipes in there, but I've just found sous vide butter poached potatoes, so we'll do that. And it says 87.8 as the cooking temperature. The slightly magical thing is this is this has Bluetooth. The Anova device has Bluetooth, so they're talking to each other. So this is telling me that the current temperature, you probably can't see that, is 74.1, which is what the display on the precision cooker also says. And when that gets up to temperature, it will start cooking automatically, and it's gonna cook for one hour. The phone is telling me the water is ready, so I can now place the ingredients in the pot. And this is what we do, we just immerse that in the water. And this method is called uh, water displacement. Because water is heavier than air, it'll push all the air out of the bag. So we don't get a perfect vacuum, but we don't need one. Um, we've got enough there. And you just zip it closed. And sometimes with vegetables, they'll float to the top. You can weight them down with a small plate if they do. Um, and that's it. Leave that for an hour and come back and enjoy wonderful potatoes. Now, with uh, things like meat and fish, they don't look appetizing when they come out. They're perfectly cooked, perfectly edible, but they don't have that browning on the outside. And generally what you do there is sear them. But this, with the melted butter and the salt, this will be perfect. So the cooking time is up and the ANOVA precision cooker is beeping at me and it'll keep on doing that until you turn it off. So we'll turn it off. However, I think you can just turn the timer off, but the circulator will keep on going. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which is useful if you're not quite ready to consume your potatoes or whatever. You can keep it chugging away, it'll, keep, it'll maintain the same temperature for hours and hours and hours, and it won't make any difference at all. Right, let's unwrap the goodies, just unzip the bag, and tip it all out into a bowl, and let us taste our marvellous potatoes. I've seen it said that sous vide vegetables taste more like themselves than in reality. And they're probably right. So now I've got you all excited. You want one, don't you? <laughs> I want another one so I can do... No, I don't. This, this, this is... Well, I, I like this one because it, it's, it's good looking as well as being very well built and very practical. It comes from Anova Culinary in Houston, Texas. Uh, probably via China, but we won't worry about that. When I bought it, there was $50 off the price of a, which was about $199 and free shipping to the UK and Ireland. So this actually cost me 150 pounds, which, um, you know, you can spend that much on a good frying pan, uh, <laughs> but this is a lot more fun. And really sous vide is such a cool way to cook, pun not intended. Um, and you know, the benefits are, are just incredible. So there you go. Sous vide cookery, perfect food every time, no messing. I love it. And that's that. Hope you enjoyed it. Now, please share it with all your friends on social media. Subscribe to this channel, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and don't forget the amazing website that has all the details of all the recipes. And thank you for watching. Come back soon.